Hi, this is Alan McCrabby at Saley Company, and uh, thank you for joining us for the last of the three episodes of the Pico Series 3000 uh, oscilloscope family. And what we're doing here today is we're going to look at the MSO aspect of this particular unit. As we said, this has uh, four analog inputs and 16 digital inputs here. And what I've done is I've, I've still got the two analog inputs looking at the serial bit stream coming from dock light and I've rigged up a binary ripple counter to generate some some clocks on eight lines so what what we're going to do here is just put in some criteria to search for a particular uh, state <clears throat> on the two serial lines and combine that with a, a designated set of states on the, the eight logic lines and see if the thing can find it so <clears throat> naturally it can, so that's why we're doing this. So looking at the screen, we've got everything already set up because we wanted to make sure stuff would work properly beforehand. So anyway, uh, this is what you need to do to set up the logic part. Um, is up in here in this, uh, this special box right in there, you just use the pull down menu and you get your channels or, and groups. This is where you set up the different things that you want to, to include in your logic analysis. So they've got lines 0 through 7 and 8 through 15 over here. So there's your 16 channels. I'm just using eight of them right now. So what you do is you, you click on these, highlight them, and pull them down into this area right here. And if you want to create a group, you can name it or you can actually name the individual channels. I've set for this bunch here that we're working with TTL levels and there's a particular threshold. So without going into a lot of detail over it, that's basically how you get your channels activated so you can do something with them. So I'll close that. Now, to find out, to actually set up the, the triggering, you have to go down here to the trigger menu at the very bottom. Okay, and then you can see there's, there's a little option key to the right. I've, I've got this thing set for single because we're just going to have a single shot finding the criteria that I've got set up in here and then we'll we'll see how that's done. Um, if we open this up and we use our logic triggering you can see that we've got a, a bunch of tabs right here A, B, that's the two channels the, for the analog input and the digital. I've activated or they say used, I'm using the A and the digital lines for this and I'm anding the, the two situations together. Now if I had the other two channels turned on up here, channel C and D, you would see tabs for those here as well. Um, so let's, let's look at the, the A channel first. I am just want it to trigger on a level, a rising edge at this particular level here. Now remember that this is a, this is a signal that's, that's actually true RS-232, which means it's a plus and minus voltage. And in this case, it goes from plus 8 to minus 8. So when it, when it goes through this on rising edge, it's going to trigger on it. It's going to look for that condition. Over here on the digital side, what I've done is I've just asked for D0, D1, D2, and D3 to have a particular logic state. In this case, it's a, it's a high, low, high, low. So that's all I want to do. And this, of course, is a completely nonsense circuit, but it's just, we just put it together so we could demonstrate that the MSO feature works. So all you do with that after you've got it set up is you just close it. Now I want to do one uh, single shot, so we're going to click the start button and we're going to wait. So here it goes. It's all blank. Oops, there it is. Okay. Uh, what we have here is this point right here, which is very close to zero, actually is, is the trigger point. This is, this is T0 in time. We're going positive in time and we're going backwards in time to the left. Okay, so here's our, here's our state here for the uh, analog. And then I have my 1, 0, 1, 0 right, in, right here at this trigger point. So you can see that that's actually you know, what I was looking for. Now, it, these things are not synchronized together. So this could have occurred over here so that some of this serial bitstream would have been pushed into the past over here. But in this particular case, it worked right on the, the first 
the first edge of this thing. So that, that was convenient. Doesn't always happen that way because, you know, we haven't really set up a, a, an actual true situation here. Uh, but at any rate, it demonstrates how easy it is just to set this up to get some results. And that's what the purpose of this is. So hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, there's, of course, a lot to learn from the, the pull down menus that I mentioned you know, here on this, the screen right here. And so put in what other term you're, put, uh, put in whatever term you want to uh, uh, look at here and then press display and then you can find the answers you're looking for. All right, otherwise, give me a call. I'm choice two in the menu. And uh, thanks for watching.